Uh, let's just get to what really happened. She had a boyfriend, so, you know, I wasn't really, you know, I couldn't shoot my shot or nothing like that. So she was doing her thing with her boyfriend and I was just doing my thing. So, so we started dating on July 12th, 2017. And then our son ended up being born on July 12th of 2019. Um, he was supposed to be born on the 4th of July, but he ended up being born way later, born on the 12th. And that was just kind of crazy because he was born on our anniversary, so. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a story time on how we met. So this is my boyfriend Tavian. Okay, so first I want to see what he thinks on how we met. I'll start it and then you can finish it. Well, I say, well, I gotta start. Basically, we met in high school and we were just friends. We would text every so often, but just as friends. Uh, let's just get to what really happened. We was in high school, you know what I'm saying? She had a boyfriend, so she was technically off limits. So, you know, I wasn't really, you know, I couldn't shoot my shot or nothing like that. So she was doing her thing with her boyfriend and I was just doing my thing. So, yeah, that's what really happened. Okay, so basically he never liked me and <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. One time we went to a basketball game, well not together, it was like a construction theme and I think I asked someone if they had like construction gear and they said that they didn't but they knew that he might have some so I had asked him to get me some and he ended up bringing me some but I didn't know that he went to the store and literally bought brand new construction stuff just so he could give me some. I was trying to slide on you, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so fast forward, he was a year older than me and he went to school at... He went to school Dang, at... Dang, <laughs> can you talk about the transition? Dang. What said, transition? Basically, she was a year below me and I graduated and I went out to Clark Atlanta uh, University. So, yeah. Okay, so I was a senior in high school and he was finishing his freshman year at Clark and we had started texting in... Like February? Yeah, around February. Yeah, I was with somebody and we had broken up for a while. And so then we had just so happened to start texting, I don't know how. And we were texting as just friends. Well, so I knew that he was doing stuff when he was at school at Clark. <laughs> so obviously we, I didn't take it seriously and I know he didn't take it seriously. So we were just texting as friends and then... Okay, then you can explain this part. Basically, I was in my um, in my math class. I don't know why I remember the math class, but I was in the math class, right? I told you to pay attention. Yeah, you told me to pay attention or something like that. And we were just having you know, a normal conversation. And then I asked, like, what are you doing? Did not get a response. Probably didn't get a response for about three weeks. All of a sudden, I get a text back of her saying nothing. First off, I'm lost. Like, what is she talking about? Nothing. And I see that she's responding to a text I sent her three weeks ago. And that's when I just stopped responding. Like, she too light skinned for me. She think I'm a ham or something. She's just gonna text me back three weeks later, continuing the conversation. Not even know, hey, or start a new conversation. She's trying to continue the conversation we was already having. So at that point, I just kind of fell back. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm straight. I don't know what, who she think I am, but it ain't that. Okay, so basically, I was working. And I was in school, and I know that he didn't care about me texting him, so... Yeah, when we were texting, and I was, like, not dating anybody when we were texting the first time, so I was showing pictures of him to people at my class at Career Center saying, like, when he gets back, we're gonna date, and we're gonna end up together, and all this stuff. He never believes me. But I was really showing them, and I, I still have the picture on my phone that I showed them of him, and you know, I was saying when he gets back, I'm gonna be done playing around and we're gonna end up together. Are you gonna tell them about how you were telling your friends you like me? Yeah, so I showed my boy Fonzo, show him a picture of her, cause you know, she was uh, in career smith, so she had her little, you know, nurse outfit on, and her little stethoscope and stuff like that. Trying to look all cute on the gram and stuff like that. So I was like, dang, like, I'm finna slide on her when I go back for the summer. Cause I originally thought that, you know, this summer. I know I was going to go back to Clark. I, I made that decision, but I did think I was going to go back to Atlanta and go to like uh, Georgia State or something like that. So I told him in the summer, I'm going to slide on her. When I go down there, my friend Olivia too, I was sending her, like sent her a picture she posted on Instagram or something like that. And I told her too, like I was going to slide on her. And she's like, oh yeah, she's cute, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that was, it was all, you know, premeditated before I made back, you know what I'm saying? I had, 
had a little plan set up before I got back. So. so I remember that he responded to some of my pictures on Snapchat and he sent like the heart eyes and stuff, even though he wasn't texting me. But when he had came back, I think he Snapchatted me and said something and like asked, what, I was, what did you say? Do you remember? said something like what are you doing basically, said you're back. basically the plan was you know to continue doing my transition slide you know what i'm saying so got back i was in lansing from for, for a little while you know what i'm saying uh, probably like two days anyways i was back for a little while i didn't really tell nobody and then i slid on her told her like let's hang out so when he got back he had texted me and basically was saying he was back and I thought that he was like not mad at me but kind of was feeling some type of way because I didn't respond that one time and so I just kind of thought we weren't like gonna hang out when he got back even though I was telling everyone we were and not everybody I was telling like some of my really close friends we ended up getting back I told her let's hang out so then she said okay I pulled up to her house mind you we ain't, we never really hung out in high school you know what I'm saying like we had um you know, friend groups who hung around each other, but we never directly like hung out. So this was like the first time um, we was about to hang out for real. So I remember pulling up to her house, um, not really knowing nothing really about her besides you know the surface level type stuff. Um, we texted a lot, kind of. Eh, kind of, but not we really. kind of texted for a while when the first time we texted, like. Yeah, but it was like surface level stuff. Yeah, you know you're what right. I'm like, mm -hmm. It wasn't like how you really know each other type stuff. Right. So I put it to her house, and then I remember her, you know, coming out the house, walking to the car. So. Were you nervous? I was a little nervous. I had to play it smooth. I didn't really know what to say, though. I didn't know, like, how the conversation was going to go or nothing like that. So, you know, Miss Prom Queen, popular lady over here. So. I know you're not talking. Anyways, so then. You planned a fun date, a fun time. We decided to go to fun time, mini golf and like go karts and driving range, betting cages, all that stuff. So we went there, and uh, yeah, we did mini golf. Yeah. Who won? Me. Did. Yes, I did. I still have the card, I think, somewhere because I like to keep not, a lot of stuff. You did not win. Then what? Win? Yeah. yeah, I did. Okay, so after that date, or first time we hung out. We were pretty much just inseparable. Like we literally hung out like every single day after that, and we both didn't really have intentions of dating or like really being serious or anything. Just because we both didn't know where we were going to school, I didn't even know I was going to Western at the time. He didn't know if he was going back to Clark, or that's what he told me. He didn't know if he was going back to Clark or like somewhere else out of state. So we both were kind of just seeing like where it went and just let it flow now. So we were really just seeing where it went and I remember I had told him like, I really wanna to go to the zoo and we have like a little like crappy zoo. So I really wanted to go to like a zoo and I was just thinking he was gonna take me to like the one here. Actually, I didn't even think he was gonna take me to the zoo. I was just saying that I wanted to go to one and that no one would go with me. So he ended up taking me like out of town. How far was it? Like an hour? Like an hour and 10 minutes. Like an hour and 10 minutes away. So I was really excited about that. We went and to two zoos actually. Oh yeah, we did. Went to the Detroit Zoo first, and I was straight, you know what I'm saying? Being in Detroit was was different from being in Lansing, I guess, like a, I guess a good date for us being like, you know, just starting to hang out type stuff and going to a different city. And yeah. We, and we was only freshmen. Well, I was freshman, you was, and you just graduated high school, right? Yeah, I wasn't so even I was out of high school in, then, I think it was like the last month. I was, so we went to the Detroit Zoo, which was straight, but at the time, like, it just was, it was sad for the animals, I'm not gonna lie though. We ended up going to Binder Park Zoo in Battle Creek, which is actually right by Kalamazoo. Yeah, even though the zoo wasn't all that, I was still excited just because it was like the thought that he took me somewhere like far away and it was like probably our third date. And the, the day after that was just like, I think we went to the movies or something like that. So he took me to get food after that and then um, hung out like literally every single day and we were just texting all the time, talking on the phone all the time. And then we were both like, okay, well, we don't want to be serious or like officially date until we even know where we're going to school. I decided to go to Western. I went to, actually, I went to my orientation in like July and I still didn't even know if I was like officially going to go there. Or maybe it was late June. 
She really was trying to follow me to Atlanta because she applied to Georgia State. Yeah, don't, don't leave Okay, so nobody. let's... Wait, so okay. Yeah, you so you say that. that I was trying to follow him. You said I was trying to follow him to Atlanta. And he ended up following me to Western. So this is what happened why I didn't go back <laughs> to Atlanta. I didn't go back because A, I didn't want to go back to Clark because that's a whole nother conversation. But tuition was crazy and I just didn't feel like, you know what I'm saying, I was getting my money's worth. You know, God kind of steered me back towards Michigan, which is the last thing I wanted to do because everybody who knows me knows that Tay is not about to live in Michigan much longer. So once I left Clark, I thought that was the last time I'd ever live in Michigan. But, uh, you know, back here for now. In all my junior and senior year of high school, I knew I didn't want to stay in Michigan. Like me and my best friend were set on not being in Michigan. I applied and got into like Hampton, Clark. Um, I'm trying to think of other out of state places that I wanted to go. Literally anywhere but Michigan. But the tuition was way too much. And the things that I was hearing from people that went there just weren't good for my major. I decided I was going to Western a little bit after my orientation. And I don't really, he decided he was going to Western like very last minute. I ain't gonna like, lie, my whole college career has been last minute. I applied to Western in like July, but I didn't get a reply to like the end of July, like the beginning of August, and classes started like a few weeks after that. So I really didn't know what I was gonna do. I was just really like, you know, not not being prepared like I thought I was. Cause I really thought the whole time I was going back out of state. After we had started hanging out and going on dates and stuff, like he would leave notes on my car when I was at work. He'd always come visit me at work. He'd always come bring me food and I would bring him food and stuff. And then I remember one time then we had like a full day of doing something. And then afterwards he was like, okay, so you wanna go meet my family just out of nowhere when we're just sitting in the car. And he doesn't prepare me for anything. So I was just like. I'm a spontaneous person if y'all don't know from so then we ended up going to meet his family and I was so nervous. Did I even tell my mom? No, you were, you were like, I have someone for you to meet. And then we just like <laughs> came to the house. And, and I'm, we not, like, I'm not one to bring any girls around my family unless it's someone I see like me potentially dating or like anything like that. So I think my parents met one other person besides her. So. And I'm his first girlfriend. Cute. <laughs> but he's not innocent, so. I am innocent. Then, so, when we went to his house, that was funny. Oh, gosh. That was hilarious. So, they didn't expect me to come. They didn't know what he was even talking about. So, he, like, his mom called his little brother down to the living room, and then his mom FaceTimed his older brother, and they were just, like, asking him all these questions about me. They were like, so what do you like about her? Um, how long have you guys been hanging out? Did you guys like talk before? Mind you, we hung out for like maybe a month and like what do you like about her? Like trying to put me on the it spot. It wasn't even like a month. It was probably like a few weeks. Yeah. It was so funny. So yeah, he would always leave like notes and stuff in my car, like flowers in my car sometimes and like random little gifts and stuff. Like I remember for Sweetest Day he left me something and then when he asked me to be his girlfriend he had like um, left some stuff in my car for me and like left me a card and stuff. That's so annoying. Mean. So then we went to college. We both had dorms. We had different um, beginning experiences at Western. One, because I already experienced my first year of college and I was in the city of Atlanta. So in the HBCU at that and the AUC at that. It was different for me in general because as a sophomore, a transfer. So like, you know, she got the whole freshman orientation experience and stuff like that and having like a roommate and like I knew people from high school and stuff yeah and I'm in a transfer dorm so I have a dorm to myself which and is... our dorms were wild yeah so we'll get to that <laughs> so usually it's um I'm in a dorm where usually you share with somebody else but I'm by myself I'm naturally like an introverted person in a sense like if I don't really know you or nothing like that I ain't gonna go out my way to speak so okay while well, he's talking I had fun my freshman year because he had way more fun his freshman year when he was single and in Atlanta, so. I was smacking. <laughs> stuff. And I wasn't even doing anything like, yeah, I go out to parties and stuff, but 
<laughs> I must come back. So yeah, we were like inseparable ever since the very first time we started hanging out that first day at Fun Time. And yeah, we've been on some trips together and we've just done and experienced a lot of different things. Okay, so a surprise question. What do you like the most about me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is not what this is about. This is about- I wanna hear it. This is about learning about us. What do you like about me? This is about learning about, about us. Back to the storyline that is she learning forgot now. about. No, he's just buying more she time. She forgot about the storyline. That's why she's throwing up random questions. No, I was gonna ask you this no Basically, so you guys can keep track of what's going on. You know, kind of fast for a little bit. End of the freshman year, her freshman year, my sophomore year. Sophomore year. Both got apartments, but in the same, I would say like townhouses, not really apartments. But basically townhouses, but we lived in the same like complex type areas. And I was in one section and she was in another section. So we were just together all the time, again. So I crossed in November and became a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. And then in January, I found out I was pregnant. In January, I found out I was pregnant. Well, I was in the process of uh, becoming a member of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. So we started dating on July 12th, 2017. And then our son ended up being born on July 12th of 2019. Um, he was supposed to be born on the 4th of July, but he ended up being born way later, born on the 12th. And that was just kind of crazy because he was born on our anniversary, so. I got a question. Come on, what do you like the most about me? Uh, Tell me what you like the most about me. A long list of things. So I like that um, what really drew me to Kyra was that she was so driven and like independent. And um, she just had a drive about her, you know what I'm saying? It's like when I said Miss Popular Prom Queen, like that really was like her persona in, in high school. Like everyone knew Kyra was Miss, Miss Do It All, you know what I'm saying? So. She, but I was she, nice. She always been real driven, uh, you know, and kind of going. You can just tell she was on her on her stuff. So you know, what I'm saying that kind of drew me to her because I felt like I was kind of the same way, like on my stuff, you know, driven and stuff. So that's probably the main thing that drew me to her, besides her stunning looks. So yeah. Aww. Can you give me a kiss on the cheek? <laughs> So let me know if you guys enjoyed him being on my channel and we'll have to do some more videos if you guys want to. You're gonna gain like 500 subscribers because of me. He's not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead, like, comment, subscribe and let me know what you guys think.